hi guys welcome back to my channel my name is virginia and i vlog content about weight loss surgery about healthy lifestyle healthy food workouts about my weight loss journey so i'm going i want to share with you guys my weight loss experiences how i turn my unhealthy lifestyle to a healthy lifestyle so welcome welcome guys um i made a vlog about the requirements that you have to meet to do the surgery or to get accepted for the surgery and i also made a vlog about the differences between the gastric bypass surgery and the vertical sleeve gastrectomy so if you are interested go back to my channel and you can find my vlog uh, my vlogs about it but in today's video i'm going to talk about the cons and pro in general of weight loss surgery so i'm going to talk about the cons and pros of the gastric bypass and i'm going to talk about the cons and pros about the sleeve um i'm going to talk about the cons and pros in general because i haven't done my surgery yet it's on may the 3rd uh so yeah i cannot relate the cons and pro with me so later on after the surgery i'm going to do another vlog um explaining my explaining the cons and pros that are related to me but now i'm going to talk about the cons and pros in general so let's go guys welcome welcome so the pros are the pros of the weight loss surgery is of course that you will lose weight fast you will lose weight fast your life quality will improve um you will live longer um of course you will sleep better after the surgery so you will sleep less and better so that's all the pros so for me related to me is that for example my life quality will improve so that means uh because now i have an infection in my blood and if i stay like this i stay obese then the infection the infection can grow and i might have roma in the future so if i do the surgery the infection will disappear or the infection will not grow and i will not have roma in the future um also i will sleep better so that means now i sleep like 10 hours a day i used to sleep 12 hours a day sometimes 13 hours a day uh, but after my surgery i got my gallstones removed so after my surgery after the gallstone surgery i sleep like 10 hours sometimes nine eight it depends uh, but i still i still sleep too much because a normal person has to sleep like six seven or eight hours and I sleep two or three hours more than norm than usual. So after the surgery, I might sleep less and better, of course. So my life will improve. The infection can disappear, uh, of not grow. I will sleep better. Um, of course, I was I will lose weight fast. And let me see. And I also decrease the chance of having diabetes or other disease obesity disease like heart disease liver disease so i decrease the risk of having all the disease so that's all the pros guy your life quality will improve you will sleep better and less you will lose weight fast you will live longer because the risk of having other disease will decrease um and yeah that's it that's actually all the pros um and then you have the cons so the pros and the cons guys are for this both surgery are for the gastric bypass and the vertical sleeve so they have the same cons and pros i will check later to see if it's correct that what i'm saying what i think is the same is the same cons and pros so the cons are of course that if you already have diabetes or if you already have uh, liver disease or heart disease it can be worse after the surgery the risk are small but it can be in general weight loss surgery in general is safe but there is a risk that it will be worse if you already have diabetes or heart disease there is a risk that it can be worse after the surgery um, you can have also depression after the surgery, you can have hair loss after the surgery, also sagging skin. Of course, if you lose weight too much or too fast, you can have saggy skin. I also have the risk of hair loss, saggy skin, everything actually. Depression, I can have all the, the risk. Um, also, you can have gallstone after the surgery. I already removed my gallstones, but... I can have stones in my liver. That's also a thing, apparently. 
so cons is saggy skin depression if you already have disease like diabetes of heart disease liver disease it can be worse after the surgery um, you can also have hair loss etc so there is a lot of risk guys after the surgery in general everything is safe but there is always a risk after surgery every surgery has risks um also what i heard of yes what i heard from my doctor my doctor also told me that if i do the surgery i cannot take any more pills uh anti-conception pills am i saying this right the pills that you take to not be pregnant those pills i cannot take those pills anymore apparently it's better for me if i do the surgery and i want to be safe of course then i think the there is a chance of there is uh, a way to instead of taking the pills anti-conception pills you can have um a vaccine you can be vaccinated to be i never knew about that i know my cousin in cuba also do the vaccine she doesn't take pills but she do the vaccine to be safe so that she cannot get pregnant so instead of taking my pills, I have to do a vaccine. Um, of course, after the surgery, you might be short in vitamins. That's why after the surgery, you have to take a lot of vitamins. And that's why, that's why you have hair loss. Because we are short in vitamins, then our hair falls. And yeah, we have to take a lot of vitamins after the surgery. Um... And you might also have the dumping, dumping syndrome. Dumping syndrome, what I understand in dumping syndrome is if you eat or after you eat, so after the surgery, if you eat, you might have the dumping syndrome. So that means that what you eat, you just vomit everything. Everything comes out. That's, why, that's what I understand uh, with the dump, dumping syndrome. So let me repeat myself so i already told the pros so the cons are of course um you have you might have the dumping syndrome you might have hair loss uh short in vitamins um you might instead of taking anti-consumption pills you might have the vaccine because the anti-consumption pills is not it's not good after the surgery apparently uh, you if you have already diabetes of heart disease liver disease it might be worse after the surgery and of course after every surgery you have the risk to have other disease so I'm also have the risk of having other disease that's caused by obesity um, and I can also have depression I can also have saggy skin if I lose weight too fast so there is a lot of risk guys uh, yeah these are the pros and cons uh, of this weightless surgery i'm going to check if it's the same with the all these cons and pros is of the gastric bypass but i'm going to check if it's also the same uh, of the vertical sleeve but i think it's the same because it's also a surgery so let me see so yeah so it's the same guys the vertical sleeve gastrectomy and the gastric bypass has the same uh cons and pros so there is a lot of risk after the surgery but in general the surgery is safe i don't want to read this more because i don't want to get um scary but yeah i just want to be healthy of course and yeah these are the constant pro guys uh, of the surgery of the weight loss surgery in general um let me know in the comments if you already had or if you already did the surgery which complications do you have i hope none of course i hope none if, if it was a long-term risk or a short-term risk just comment down below your experience about the constant pros of the weight loss surgery if you had the surgery of course if you didn't have the surgery just comment down below if you are if you are planning to do the surgery when is your date etc i just want to talk with you guys about the weight loss surgery i want to share my experience and i also want to know 
your experience so don't be afraid comment down below and if you're not subscribed subscribe and join the family thank you guys for watching and i see you guys on my next vlog bye